Hey there, me again. Today's video is going to be a pretty quick one about a question a lot of you guys have been asking me, and that is, how do I meter my photos? So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I've been taking a lot of film photos, and I take them with old cameras like these that don't have light meters. And the way that I meter for the exposures with these cameras is with my phone. So I have an app on my phone that not a lot of people have been really talking about or using, I guess, and that's kind of surprising because I really enjoy it. And this app is called Lightmate. So Lightmate is just a simple light meter app that you can get in the App Store. I don't know if it's on Android, but it's definitely available for iOS, Apple iPhones. Uh, and it's very good. It's really simplistic design, very minimal, and the app is super easy to use. So today we're going to talk a little bit about it, about using it, and some tips I have for using it, as well as where it shines and where it kind of doesn't do so well. So let's get into it. So when you open the app, it's got a very simple design, and it's got basically two options that you can select. So on the bottom left corner, you've got a toggle switch that will let you toggle between the front and back camera, and in the bottom right part of the screen, you have three number values. Uh, the first on top is the aperture value, the middle value is your shutter speed, and the bottom value is your ISO. So Basically, take whatever film you're shooting with and select the ISO on the bottom, and then you can toggle between the aperture and the shutter speed and do basically either aperture priority or shutter priority. You can either select the aperture you want and it will give you a shutter speed to use that will give you a correct exposure, or you can select the shutter speed you want and it will give you an aperture value. So you can use it either way that you want. I usually select my aperture that I want and go from there. So I've been using this app for about two years and I've really loved it. I've gotten really good results with it. And there's only one area where I think that it kind of doesn't shine that well and that's backlit scenarios. It does well in every other area, even long exposures at night. Um, but backlit scenarios, I think kind of confuse the app a little bit. And uh, I think that's because it kind of behaves like an average meter. Um, so there's a couple ways to combat this. And the first way that I use all the time, most of the time, because I like to overexpose my film photos a little bit, is if I'm looking at like a landscape or something where I've got a little bit of sky and something in the background, something in the foreground, what I'll do is I'll tilt my camera down a little bit to cut out all of or most of the sky and that will give me a little bit more accurate of a reading, and I'll be exposing a little bit more for the shadows, which is what I want. Another thing you can do, which is what you would do with a lot of other light meters that you can buy, is you can get a lot closer to your subject and then meter. Because the closer you are to your subject, the more accurate of a reading you're going to get when it comes to exposing for that subject specifically. So, a lot of the times in the videos that I make, you'll see me go up closer to the subject I want to expose for, take a meter reading, then go back to where my composition is, and then take the photo. So those are a couple helpful tips I have for using this app. So that's about it for this video. Uh, it's not a very long one this time, and it's not a very complicated subject, not a lot to it. Um, but if you use an old camera like I do that doesn't have a light meter, or you don't trust the light meter that's in your camera, definitely pick up Lightmate or one of the apps like it. There's a lot of apps like this out there for Android and iPhones. Um, but yeah, they all work pretty much the same. They just have slightly different user interfaces. And yeah, they're pretty reliable. So go out there, get shooting, test out these Lightmeter apps, and have fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>